Okay, let's graph this absolute value equation. And uh, graphing uh, in mathematics is critical, and especially in algebra, there's a lot of different things you need to know how to graph a particular function. So this is an absolute value function, uh, and it's very, very similar uh, in terms of its graphing as graphing a parabola, graphing a quadratic function. So if you're in algebra, uh, you're gonna need to know how to graph absolute value. Uh, functions and obviously uh, you're also going to need to know how to graph quadratic um, uh, functions which is the parabola shape but uh, in terms of absolute value there's a lot of things that you need to know about absolute value one you need to know what it is what's the definition of absolute value and I'm not going to turn this into a full overview of absolute value but I just want to give you um, a little kind of quick review of the amount of things that you're learning about absolute value so um, you got to know what absolute value is uh, and obviously uh, evaluate basic absolute value problems like the absolute value of negative three. Um, and then you're gonna need to know how to solve absolute value equations, okay? So this is a pretty big uh, topic in, in and of itself. And then you're gonna need to know how to deal with absolute value inequalities, okay? And uh, many students confuse, uh, they'll get down absolute value equations, they'll like, okay, I understand that now. And then they'll learn absolute value inequalities, which is different than absolute value equations, and then they confuse these on a test. So you've got to be very careful with absolute value. There is a good amount you need to know, and I'm going to give you some uh, suggestions on how you can master absolute value. But what we're going to be focused on in this video is simply graphing this absolute value equation. We'll talk about the basic uh, graph of uh, an absolute value function. Uh, here in one second, and then I'm going to walk you through the basic steps to get a nice little sketch on your graphing paper. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over uh, several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But Basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. I'm going to be launching uh, pre-calculus here shortly. Very excited about that. I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you are studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, HiSET, TASC, Accuplacer, CLEP exam, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam, ASVAB, there's a ton of uh, tests that people have to take, very, very important tests uh, uh, in terms of them reaching their goals or your goals, uh, and they have a considerable amount of math, all these uh, tests I just uh, mentioned, and a ton of others as well. So if you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well on the test, so let me help you out. Just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. I should have your exam. If I do not, uh, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with independent learners uh, like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning system. And then uh, obviously help those of you that are just having a tough time in your uh, current math course. Now, if you're serious about learning math or serious about wanting to uh, really you know, improve, uh, then you need to do this, okay? You gotta take great math notes. Now, if you're not that serious about learning math, then uh, just disregard this. But I'm telling you, over decades of teaching mathematics, those people, those students who really work hard every day are focused and engaged and got great math notes as evidence of that, they always end up doing very, very well. And then the opposite is true. Those students who are just, you know, like myself, I back in the good old 1980s, I was trying to find shortcuts for everything. You know, I was like, ah, I'm not taking notes. I'm going to be talking to my friends. And uh, when a teacher looks at me, I'm going to be writing some scribble scratch just to make pretend I'm taking some notes so they wouldn't give me any t uh, detentions or whatever the case was. But uh, listen, I made all the mistakes and then some. And then today, you know, you guys out there, you have these cell phones, which are like crazy distracting. Uh, they're awesome, but they're also distracting. So the, the bottom line is this. You have a lot of things pulling at your attention, okay? But you're not going to be able to learn anything unless you're highly focused. And if you're focused on uh, uh, taking great notes, then you'll be focused on the, on your teacher and what they're saying. And that's the key. Yeah, and its bottom line is this. It's impossible to uh, be successful in anything without focus. So that's why note-taking is critical. But as you improve any note-taking, you can study from uh, my notes uh, to help you out. So those would include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. 
Okay, so uh, if you think you know how to graph this absolute value equation, go ahead and pause the video and do so. It's not that difficult. There's a couple different approaches we can take, uh, but let's uh, let's go down here. Matter of fact, let's talk about this first approach, okay? Uh, then I'm gonna talk about uh, uh, the specifics, how to really um, do this in a nice, easy manner. But in mathematics, you can graph anything, okay? Uh, by just constructing a good old-fashioned table, an XY table of values. So if you're not familiar with uh, 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 XY table, use this to graph lines, but uh, you'll see this throughout math. Okay, when in doubt, if you have to graph anything, just come up with a bunch of X values, some you know random X values, try to span a good you know amount of the X axis, plug it in, you know, plug these all these X values uh, into here, do all this simplification to get the respective y values. And then each one of these here is an xy coordinate, all right? It's an xy coordinate that you can plot, and then you can just kind of play connect the dots, okay? So uh, just remember, when in doubt, if you're like totally forget anything, you can always construct an xy table to help you out and graph anything. That's This is actually very important. Uh, even for advanced mathematics, we have to create uh, tables. So don't forget about that. That's always kind of a default way to graphing anything. But we're going to talk about the specifics of uh, the absolute value graph right now. Okay. So again, uh, if you know how to graph a parabola, okay, basically something like this, y equals x squared plus x plus 1, write a quadratic equation. What's the shape of these guys? Well, they're U shapes, right? This is like it's either upward U or downward U. Okay, so that's what a parabola is, but an absolute value, it's very similar. Okay, by the way, let me get back to this uh, parabola. This bottom here, this very like um, uh, minimum or this maximum part, we call that the vertex, right? So the vertex is a specific x, y point, okay, for the parabola. So if you didn't know this, you're going to be learning this, uh, so don't worry about it. But absolute value is basically works the same way, very, very uh, similar. So the basic shape uh, for absolute value is a V, okay? It's either an upward V or a downward V. It could be anywhere uh, on this XY axis. And this point here uh, is referred to as the vertex. So if I know uh, the location of the vertex, and I know if it's an upward V or downward V, so in other words, it could look be like this, it could be like this. And by the way, this V just continues, okay? So if I know the vertex, um, and I know whether it's an up or down V, then I can get a basic sketch. There's some other things that affect this graph, but this is like just kind of the basics, right? So this is um, a quick overview of what to expect for absolute values. Your absolute value is always going to be some sort of V. Now, you could have a skinny V like this, a narrow V, or you could have a wide V. Uh, and I'll talk about very briefly what um, uh, impacts uh, these things here. Uh, but let's get right to this problem and uh, get right to it. Okay, so here's our problem. Y equals absolute value of X minus five plus seven. So what do we wanna do? Well, again, I want to find the vertex and I wanna just know whether this is an up or down uh, V, okay? And then I'll uh, tell you briefly, let's actually just put something out here. Let's talk about other, uh, other characteristics. So in other words, is it gonna be narrow? Is it gonna be wide? Okay, those type of things. So. Okay, so first things first, let's find the vertex, okay? Again, this is gonna be an x, y point. It's actually pretty easy to do, okay? So how do we find the vertex? So remember, the vertex, all right, is an x, y point on uh, the x, y plane, okay, the x, y graph. So I need to find the x, and I need to find a y, all right? So how do we find x, okay? Well, how do we find the x? Very simple, what you do is you take the stuff inside the absolute value, that expression there, we set it equal to zero and solve for x. Okay, so x minus five, we set that equal to zero. Uh, so x equals five, well, that is my five coordinate for my vertex, super easy. Well, okay, how about y? Well, y is even easier, okay? Whatever this number is right here, hanging out at the end of the absolute value equation, that is what y is equal to. So y is equal to seven, so super easy. Now, if there was no number, okay, let's say it was this, Okay, well, you're like, wow, there's no number there. Well, it would be zero. Okay, that would be plus zero. But in this case, we have uh, a seven. So there's always something there. 
sometimes it's a zero. Okay, so we know our vertex is five, seven. I mean, how easy is that? Okay, now let's talk about whether this is a uh, happy V. I like to call these happy Vs. And this is a sad V, okay? So how do we know whether this is up or down, okay? Well, we gotta look at the sign uh, uh, right here, this little coefficient right in front of the absolute value. Right here, there's nothing there, so that's positive. Okay, if you don't see anything, that's positive. If there was negative, there would be a negative sign. So positive, any positive value outside of that absolute value right there is a happy V. It's, it's a positive V. It's happy about its outlook on uh, its life as an absolute value function. So I just can't wait to be traveling all through uh, out the X, Y axis, et cetera, et cetera. You know, whatever hokey way you need to kind of remember it, you know, is fine with me. Okay, now, of course, we have a sad V, you know, and that's someone who's got a negative outlook on life. They're like, oh, I got to be, you know, uh, you know, on this X, Y plane forever. You know, they're sad about it. So it's going to be a downward V. Okay, now, some of you are out there saying, okay, Mr. YouTube math teacher, just stick with the math. Skip the comedy. Listen, I got to try, right? You know, whatever it takes. Um, matter of fact, maybe because of my little silly joke there, you'll actually remember this. Okay, now. Let's uh, erase this stuff because uh, I want to. So first, first of all, let's see here. We know this is going to be an up uh, V, and we have our vertex. But let's talk real quick about these other characteristics. What is going to uh, affect whether this is uh, skinny or wide? Well, it's the number. It's the coefficient. Now, this happens to be a just a 1, so it's going to be kind of like a standard 45, 45 V. But if I had a bigger number here, let me just draw something or write something in here. So what if I had like nine, a positive uh, nine here? Okay, well, the bigger the number gets, okay, the narrow it's going to become. So like a positive nine is gonna make it skinnier. Positive 19, even narrower, okay? If it's negative, well, it's gonna be going in the other direction, okay? All right, now, if you have a fraction, all right, let me just uh, write this like so. What if I had like one eighth right here? That's positive, but a fraction, as it gets smaller and smaller, uh, less than one, it's going to be uh, widening uh, up. So like 1 18th would be like this. Okay. Now, of course, um, you should supplement if you really, really want a super accurate uh, graph. And, you know, there's might be times where you, you'll need one. Uh, supplement your vertex and your characteristics here with putting in some, um, you know, uh, finding some other points, uh, specific points on your plot. Okay, that way you'll have a real precise graph. But in this situation, we have a basic up V, and here is the vertex. So let's go ahead and put it all together. Here is our vertex at 5, 7. We're going to draw a nice upward happy V. I'm like, hey, I'm happy to be a V living here on the XY plane. And there it is. Okay, this is the graph of our absolute value equation, something that you definitely need to know in algebra. Okay, and of course, uh, we can add some uh, more sophisticated problems, but uh, you got to know this as kind of like uh, a basic starting point. And again, um, this is very similar to graphing quadratic equations and parabolas. So if you um, are studying those, you know, just, you know, think of these. There's there's some subtle differences, but they're effectively they're uh, pretty close uh, in terms of the procedure being the same. So if you got this problem right, then boy, I must give you a happy face uh, with some big ears like that, little space ears, and a mohawk, and an A+, plus, and a 100%. But I'll give you, eh, I'm going to give you two stars. This wasn't the most difficult of problems, okay? But if you got it right, you know, without me telling you how to do it, and you're like, knew exactly what to do, then, you know, it's pretty good. That shows me that you're probably, you know, taking notes, uh, paying attention to your teacher. Maybe you've been watching my YouTube uh, channel for a while. Who knows? I don't know. But that was a that was good work. Okay. So again, absolute value. Uh, we talked about the uh, graphs of absolute value, but you need to know the definition of absolute value. Just very briefly, the absolute value is a distance a number is from zero. You need to know how to graph. Uh, I'm sorry, solve absolute value equations and absolute value inequalities. Uh, so you can follow um, uh, do this follow up study. 
uh, on my channel in my uh, algebra playlist, but I teach this thoroughly in my algebra course and my other courses in my math help program. Okay, so if you would uh, like this video in some way, please consider smashing that like button, and obviously, please consider subscribing. I'm posting new content all the time, and again, I have like a thousand plus videos on my channel all there for you. So if you like my teaching style, I'm here to help. But uh, don't forget, my best math help will be within my uh, math help program. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.